Hi folks, it's Becky, welcome back. Today's a quick sidebar to my plywood storage wall project that's all about 3D printing. Now, I got one of those Craig pocket hole jigs to create all the pocket holes for my plywood project, and I also have the Festool dust collection system, and the dust shroud uh, that comes with the Craig doesn't, it doesn't fit. So I had been um, using some tape to tape it together every time I use it, but that's, that's no fun. So I thought this week, oh, I'll just make a quick coupler. I'll use Tinkercad and I'll work up two cylinders that are each the right size and then make a piece to join them together. Um, but you know, I opened up a blank file and I thought like, hmm, there's enough people out there that probably have these two systems and a 3D printer that let me just check and see if it exists already. And here's like the place we are with 3D printing these days and Arduino projects for that matter. Like if you have a cool idea that you wanna make, just check and see if someone's done it first, not to discourage you, but rather to like build on their design. So I looked for a coupler and I found something even better. Uh, Thingiverse user Tool Tutor actually modeled the entire part uh, of the dust shroud and with an outlet that fits the uh, diameter of the Festool hose. So thanks Tool Tutor, that's awesome. Uh, it's way better than what I would have done, which is just make a coupler that goes between the original dust extractor. Um, the only gotchas were to, I needed to scale it up because the units were in inches and my Autodesk Print Studio software uses millimeters. So the conversion factor is 25.4 times. So in percent, that would be 100% times 25.4, which is 2,540% to get it back up to the right scale. And sure enough, when I printed it out, it print perfectly. I also read um, from one of the other makers of the part on Thingiverse that it uh, came out better when you print it upright, just against the original modeler's suggestion for, uh, which is for print speed to print down like this. So I printed it upright with supports on my Rep2 and it came out just fabulous. I couldn't be happier, except that I didn't get to share the making process of something new with you guys, but that's okay because it does exactly what it's supposed to do and it works awesome. In case you're wondering what my shirt says. I got it at Maker Fair Bay Area, oh, I don't know, 2008, 2009? If you know of anyone with the Festool dust extractor and the Craig jig, please tag them on social media with this video so that they can find the part for themselves. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again next week with a new video about crafts, technology, my life here in New York City. I'd love it if you would subscribe. Take care, see you next time.